Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In uh, my previous video, uh, we completed the generation of double sideband suppressed carrier signal uh, using a ring modulator or double balance modulator. So I discussed two methods for generation of uh, a double sideband suppressed carrier signal which is the balance modulator and the ring modulator method. In today's video, we will be discussing about the demodulation or the detection of the modulating signal from a double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal. So how to extract the message signal from the amplitude modulated signal which is of the BSD SC type. Okay, so the first question that uh, comes is what is demodulation? So it is the process of recovering the original message signal or modulating signal or baseband signal from the modulated signal waveform. That's that that process is called as demodulation, the extraction of the message or information or data containing signal. So, the demodulation of double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal is commonly done through filter method, okay, uh, a su suitable filter or low pass filter with a sharp cut off frequency is used for the demodulation of amplitude modulated signals. Now this process is called as synchronous detection or coherent detection or homodyne detection. All are the same techniques, they refer to the same technique, just the names are different but they are the same techniques and they employ filters with suitable sharp cutoff frequencies. So here we will be discussing one of such methods for the demodulation of uh, message containing signal from a double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal. So this is the block diagram of uh, the demodulation of a DSPSC signal using filters. So here as you can see there are four main components or four main things which are involved in the demodulation process. First, we require the DSBAC amplitude modulated signal which is MT into cos omega CT. MT is the message signal and cos omega CT is uh, the carrier frequency component part which is uh, attached to the DSBAC amplitude modulated signal. It is the standard expression of a DSBAC amplitude modulated signal. Then we require a local oscillator which generates a carrier frequency signal of unit amplitude. Here note that the value of EC is 1. Generally it comes in terms of EC cos omega CT. Here EC is set as 1. So we only get cos omega CT. Okay, it is, it is generated with the help of a local oscillator. Both these signals are fed to the multiplier which performs the multiplication of these signals and then finally to extract the message signal or the data containing or information containing signal from the DSPSC signal we have a low pass filter with a suitable sharp cutoff frequencies okay so you can draw this diagram or you get a screenshot of it so you can refer to it for better understanding okay these are the four main things which are involved in the demodulation process involving a double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal. Next, we will discuss the mathematical analysis part. Okay. So, the output of the multiplier to which the DSPSC signal and the carrier signal of unit amplitude is fed is given by this. MT cos omega CT which is the DSBAC signal into the carrier signal of unit amplitude. 
so it is given by md cos square omega ct now we know that we can write cos square a okay cos square a is 1 plus cos 2 a by 2 here i am writing omega ct as a i'm just saying this is the trigonometric identity that we have used i have used it many times in my previous videos so this is the trigonometric identity which is used here cos square omega ct is equal to 1 plus cos 2 omega ct by 2 so we get mt into 1 plus cos 2 omega ct by 2 now it can be further simplified as em cos omega mt which is written in plus of mt which is the message signal here it is the message signal amplitude and the angular frequency of the message signal into 1 plus cos 2 omega ct by 2 so we have em by 2 cos omega mt plus em by 2 cos 2 omega ct into cos omega mt now here in this expression the term which we are interested in is this okay if you look carefully this is the required message signal or modulating signal or the baseband signal which contains the necessary data and information which is transmitted and this part is not required as it consists of the carrier frequency component which is not required by us we are only interested in this part em cos omega mt by 2 the 2 is just a constant term it does not matter what we are interested in this signal em cos omega mt which is the message signal so we have to pass it through uh, uh, a low pass filter with a suitable cutoff frequency so that this part gets suppressed and only this part is passed okay so here we have further simplified this uh, thing as uh, em by 4 cos 2 omega c minus omega mt plus cos 2 omega c plus omega mt what we have done is we have multiplied 2 and divided 2 at the same time 2 cos a into cos b is given by cos a minus b plus cos a plus b that identity is used here to get this expression so the output of the multiplier is given by em by 2 cos omega mt plus em by 4 cos 2 omega c minus omega mt plus cos 2 omega c plus omega mt this technique i have uh, the trigonometric identity i have used many times so i have not uh, uh, gone into the formula part okay i have directly used it okay so this is the final output of the multiplier now we only want this part to be passed through the low pass filter and these frequency components to be suppressed so the low pass filter is selected in such a way that it has a cutoff frequency of exactly equal to the message signal frequencies so any signal having frequency equal to or lesser than the message signal frequency will be passed and anything higher than the message signal frequency will be suppressed now in the first part with the part we are interested in the frequency is exactly equal to omega m okay so this part will be present in the output this part will be passed it will be transmitted through the low pass filter now the second part which consists of frequency components 2 omega c plus omega m and 2 omega c minus omega m they have high frequencies now we know that the carrier frequency signal is much greater than the message signal frequency so we can approximate these two frequencies as 2 omega c plus omega m is nearly equal to 2 omega c minus omega m which is nearly equal to 2 omega c which is very high as compared to the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter so these two frequency components will be suppressed will not be passed through the low pass filter so only this part em by 2 cos omega mt is passed through the low pass filter while these two components are suppressed so the final output the demodulated output through the low pass filter which we get is em by 2 cos omega mt which is the required message signal which contains the necessary data or information which was transmitted from the sender to the receiver 
So this is the general principle of demodulation of message signals from a double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal with the help of a local oscillator, a double sideband carrier amplitude modulated signal, the multiplier and a low pass filter with a sharp cutoff frequency. So uh, in my next video I will be discussing about the double sideband suppressed carrier, uh, not suppressed carrier, full carrier signal. Okay, It is the full carrier signal DSP FC double sideband full carrier signal along with its generation and demodulation techniques. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.